Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. Birdie likes to catch worms and talk with her friend Mr Frog. What noise does a frog make? Ribbit, ribbit, good girl. Reading a book together is a great way for babies and young children to connect with the adults who care for them. You probably already know that reading with an adult helps young children develop literacy and other skills that they need for school. But did you know that reading together is also good for little people's mental health and their social and emotional well-being? Sitting close to you and hearing your voice helps the child feel safe, connected and cared for. Being read to is fun, especially when the grown-up uses different voices and makes sound effects. I think I'm sick, croaked Mr Frog. Aww. Fun and joy are good for a child's brain as it develops, and it's good for your brain too. <laughs> Don't worry if you feel embarrassed about performing the story. Just reading the words in a normal voice is fine too. If reading's a challenge or the book isn't written in your first language, feel free to make the story up from looking at the pictures. Stories like the Birdie books have been written especially to help babies and young children who've experienced something stressful, like a natural disaster. Look at the weather, what's it doing? One day when Birdie was looking for worms, she spotted some dark clouds in the sky. Ping, ping, ping. But you can read these books anytime to help little people learn the words for big feelings like sad, scared, angry, worried, or lonely. What happened to Mr. Frog? Sad. Oh, can you do a sad face, Bell? Oh, Mr. Frog's sad. It's good to help young children learn to name these feelings and express them through talk, art, and play. Well, what have you drawn here? A footy. A oh, footy? How do footies make you feel? Good. Identifying with characters in a story helps children feel they're not alone. It also helps develop empathy and emotional intelligence, which are vital for getting along with other people. Conversational reading means sharing a kind of two-way conversation with a child. There are lots of ways to do this, even with a baby who's too young to talk yet. Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. Point to the pictures as you read the words. As baby grows, their eyes will look where you're pointing. They may point to pictures themselves. Comment on what they're looking at or pointing to. See all the animals drinking out of the water. It can be good to make sound effects and noises to help baby tune in and learn through your voice. Splash, splash, splash. splash. As babies become toddlers, they can join in by vocalising and pointing. You might like to describe features of the pictures to expand the little one's language and observational skills. When you ask a question, give the child time to respond. Oh, what are they doing over here? What's this bird doing? This bird eating a worm. Yeah, it's ears eating a worm. As children grow towards school age, they'll want to chat more and help you read the story. You can underline words with your finger as you read. The wind blew harder and harder. Woo, woo, went that wind. Whoosh, woo. Children often want to read the same book over and over. They deepen their learning every time. Sometimes it's part of how they deal with something stressful that's happened. A story can help them sort out their feelings and work out how to move on. We look at Birdie and Mr Frog. How are they feeling in this picture? Sad. They look sad, don't they? Why do you think they're feeling sad? Because their home gone. Yeah, the fire got their homes, didn't it? It can be nice to make reading a part of a bedtime ritual. Soon Mr Frog felt better. So did everyone else. But sharing stories is great, any time of day. I love birdie. The birdie stories are available online to read for free or purchase as books. Just browse Birdie's Tree. You can learn more about conversational reading online. Just browse conversational reading. <laughs> the end. Close your book.